Hey everybody, it's Jeremiah here, and today I'm bringing you guys a video on discussing the big misconception with the Crash Bandicoot series. Now, as we all know, the Insane Trilogy has been announced for multiple platforms, including the Nintendo Switch, which means that now makes it 17 years since the series has been multi-platform, more and longer than being exclusive to the PlayStation brand. Now, I just wanna set things straight and clarify now that the Crash series was never ever owned by Sony Computer Entertainment. It was owned by Universal. Later, their names were changed to Vivendi a few years later. And there were different developers for various games. So, with that out of the way, now here's this. The image that you see right before you is a clusterfuck of games that were on multiple platforms for a lot of years. Basically, from 2001 all the way to now. Except, I don't have the Insane Trilogy there because I didn't add it there because, well, the announcement is already out to the public and everything. And I just didn't feel like adding it in. So, yeah. This video isn't for those who has a stick up their ass and keep saying that Crash is a PlayStation character, yada yada yada, blah blah blah. This is for those that don't understand or realize that Crash Bandicoot has been multi-platform for 10 plus years now, more than he has been exclusive. So, I just wanted to get that out of the way. I hope everyone that gets the Insane Trilogy on whatever preferable platform they choose to play it on enjoys it. And I am not against the game being on multiple platforms because the Crash Bandicoot series has been on multiple platforms since the fucking early 2000s and people should know this and why do they not know this when the internet exists? I have no idea. But fact of the matter is don't pretend or act like or feel like you know everything when you really don't. So that's all I wanted to say. I'm gone. Peace.